Kathy and Rania, and we're here to help you use Shuffle's new drag and drop system to create your digital cards right from your tablet. When you're creating your cards, we find it helpful if you if you gather all the information you're going to need ahead of time, your websites, your photos, and save them in JPEG format, and so it's, everything's right at your fingertips and easy for you to create those cards. Just a couple of quick tips before Rania shows you how to actually build your card is I think it's very helpful if you save as you go so that way you don't lose your work. And the other thing is with this new system, the beauty of it is you can arrange it in any order you want. You can drag it and make your logo at the top or the bottom anywhere way that tells your business story the best. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own card. First thing you want to do is go into the website, Malify.com, and then you're going to sign into your account. Then you're going to go over and click on this Create button, and then click Contact. The reason why you want to do this is because it makes it easier to fill out your card into the template, because you'll have all this information already. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to click Upload Picture. And before you do this, you might want to have a couple of their links open, like their website, a Facebook, a couple of YouTube videos. That way you have all their information ready to go. So I'm going to click Upload Picture. And as you can see, I have some photos pre-saved from their website, a couple images I found off their Facebook page. And I'm going to go in and click on this one because it tells me what the business is. And I'm going to click Open. Then I want to adjust the picture so it shows me the full thing and I'm going to click on this button with the two arrows and move it outwards. Now I'm going to scroll down where it says first name. I'm going to put shine in where it says last name. I'm going to put the height because that's the name of the salon. Now I'm going to scroll down and where it says phone number, I'm going to go back to the website. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it shows me their phone number. I'm going to control copy. I'm going to go back and control paste it into the phone number area. Now for their email, I'm going to do the same thing. Go back to their website and I'm going to control copy. And then go back and control paste. Control V. Now you can see it didn't paste the whole thing, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to fix it. And now in this address portion, I'm going to go back to their website. As you can see, they have two locations. I'm choosing the one that's in the Heinz. And I'm going to control copy again. I'm going to go back and control V and paste it. So now I have all of their information uploaded into their contact. You can click down here where it says show advanced. You can scroll to the bottom and you can add their Facebook page in if they have one. So I'm going to go to their Facebook page. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to control copy this link at the top. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to control V, paste it into the Facebook area. Now where it says website, I can also do the same thing. I can go to their website and I can control copy, control C, and control V, paste it into the website portion. Now I'm going to click create here at the bottom, and it should save all of their information. Okay, now that that's finished, you're going to go back to the create button, and you're going to click on card. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. To their new drag and drop system where it says advanced card builder and I'm going to click on that. Now, okay. now that your templates are pulled up, I'm going to go ahead and select template 18. Okay, and I'm going to go here where it says card title and again I'm just going to put shine in the height. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click create. Okay, now once you've done that, it's going to pull up where you can edit your card. So I'm going to click on this icon that says LFI. Now I'm going to go over to your left and the left portion is where you're going to do all of your editing. 
So now I'm going to click on where it says change. And here where you say, uh, where it says upload, you're going to click on it. And you're going to click on the photos that you had previously saved from their website or off their social media. And then you're going to click open. I'm going to go ahead and click this one because it's their logo. It says shine in the heights. Now I'm going to go in and I can change the size. So I want it to look a little bit bigger so it stands out. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to try, let's say 300. Okay, perfect. And here you have a button that says clone. So you can go in and you click yes. And it just makes another one of that. So now you see you have two of them. So now that I don't want that, I can go in and I can click delete. And I click yes. Now that we've done that, I'm going to scroll down again and I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to click over in the left portion, change. And I'm going to select a photo. And then I'm going to click auto scroll. So it scrolls through the pictures automatically. And I'm going to set the seconds to two. That way it's not stuck on a picture for too long. And then I'm going to go in and change the second picture. Okay, now you can see that you have two pictures uploaded and it scrolls at two seconds. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on the body of this text. And I'm going to go back into the Shine in the Heights website. And I'm going to use something from their website that describes them. So I'm going to control C and copy. And go back in. And on the left side, I'm going to control V, paste it. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. It gives you the option of bolding it your text, but I'm going to leave it as is. And these three dots right here as well, you can click on them and then you can italicize it. You can add a hyperlink. You can add bullet points and you can left align it or right align it. So now I'm going to scroll down and you can change the font and it gives you some default fonts. I'm just going to pick one and it changes the font for you. I can also change the size. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I can go ahead and type it or you can use the arrows to scroll up and down. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And here where it says align, you can left align, middle align, or right align it. I'm going to keep it to the left. You can also change the color of your text, but I'm going to keep it as is. And then as you're doing this, you want to go, you want to go ahead and click save. Okay, now that it's successfully saved, I'm going to go back in and continue editing. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on this learn more button. I'm going to go over to the left side and I'm going to paste in the link for the website. Control copy, control V, paste it in. You can change the type from a URL to phone, Skype, email, Facebook. It's really up to you, but I'm going to keep it as a URL. I can change the color of the button where it says background color. I just click on it. I'm going to click orange. So it matches the rest of the card. You can change the margin and the padding by clicking and changing the size, just typing in a number. But I'm gonna keep it as is, and I'm gonna go over and save it again to make sure none of my work is lost. Once it's successfully saved, I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna click on this video. I'm gonna add my own video in. So I found one that describes a little bit of the products that the salon sells. I'm just going to control C, copy the link at top, go back in, control V, paste it. Now you can see it uploads the video automatically for you. Then I'm going to go in and save it again. Okay, successfully saved. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to scroll down. Now you see all of these icons right here. So the salon I chose doesn't have a Twitter. So I'm going to click on Twitter. 
on the icon and I'm going to click hide. And I'm going to click yes. Okay, now they also don't have a LinkedIn, so I'm going to go in again and I'm going to click hide. Click yes again. And I'm going to click again on this YouTube button and click hide. And then click yes. Okay, so because they do have a Facebook page, I'm going to go in, click on the Facebook icon. First thing I'm going to do is change the background color to match the rest of the card. I'm going to click orange. Then I'm going to go in to their Facebook and control and copy that link. Now I'm going to control V, paste it into this link URL. Then I'm going to save it again. Once it's successfully saved, I'm going to scroll down and click on where it says your photo here. And I'm going to upload a photo like we did previously. I'm going to choose from my gallery. I'm going to click on this one because it shows the owner and the assistant manager. I'm going to go in, I'm going to crop it to only show them two. You click on the crop button and then you adjust it however you like. I'm just going to go in and make it smaller, go down a little bit, that way it looks even, and then click crop at the top. Now you can see that it's only them two in the picture. Now I'm going to scroll down again, and I'm going to click on this text, and I'm going to change the first name to shine in, like I did in their contact card. And then I'm going to go click on this other text, where it says last name, and I'm going to put the height. So all together it should say shine in the heights. Okay, I'm going to change the color again where it says color to orange to match the rest of the card. I'm going to do the same thing for the other text. Here you can bold it, you can italicize it, and you can underline it. I'm going to keep it bold, that way it stands out. You can go down and change the font again like we did in the body of the text. And I'm going to match the other font that I chose. I'm going to do that for both. Okay, now that it's matched, I'm going to go down. And you can change the font size, but I like the way it is, so I'm going to keep it like that. And I'm going to go to the top again and click Save. Okay, once it's successfully saved, you can scroll down again. And here you can see all of your information. You can forward this button right here where it says forward my info. You can forward it. And where it says save my info, you can save it. Now I'm going to show you how to move around dragging and dropping. So now I can go back to the top and I can click on it. And I can use this arrow up here. I'm going to click on that arrow. And you can see that the background turns this kind of teal color. And I'm going to move it down to wherever I want. And then I'm going to let go of the mouse. And it drops it to where I put it. Now if I want to move it back, I do the same thing. I click on it. Click on this arrow. And then I move it up again. And then I drop it. Okay, so now it has it back to where I have it. And I click save. And as you're editing your card, you can go into this preview button and you can see what it's looking like. So I'm gonna scroll down and make sure that everything looks okay. Make sure the seconds are good, the pictures are uploaded. The body of the text is what I want it to look like. I'm gonna click on the button to make sure it takes me where I want it to. It does, so I'm gonna go back. I can click on this video and it will play for me. I can click on this Facebook icon and it will take me to their Facebook page. And now I'm ready to show my business. And if you wanna make any adjustments again, you just go over and click edit. And it takes you back into where you can edit on the left side. But I like the way it looks, so I'm gonna keep it as is. Okay, as simple as that. Now you have your card. So it was Kathy.
and Rania helping you make a lasting first impression.